Writing with Heart, Exploring Personal Emails and Letters. Hello and welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we're focusing on a fascinating aspect of communication, personal emails and letters. These types of correspondence allow us to express ourselves, share our feelings, and build relationships. They serve as a window to our personality and our world. So, let's dive in. Personal emails and letters are the kind of written communication that we typically share with friends, family, or anyone with whom we have a close relationship. Unlike formal letters or business emails, personal letters and emails are less rigid and more flexible in structure, language, and tone. These letters can range from casual chit-chat, sharing news, expressing our feelings, or inviting someone for a gathering. The key here is the personal touch that mirrors your relationship with the receiver. While personal letters and emails don't have a strict format, they still follow a basic structure. 1. Greeting. How you address the person. This could be a simple, hi, or hello, or something more affectionate like dear, or even a nickname. 2. Body. This is the main part of your letter or email where you write your message. Remember, this is your chance to express yourself freely. 3. Closing. This is how you choose to sign off. It could be something like, best, sincerely, love, etc., followed by your name. This structure helps in maintaining clarity and cohesion in your message. Remember, there's no hard and fast rule, so feel free to get creative. In personal emails and letters, you have the freedom to be yourself. The language and tone can be informal and conversational. You can use idioms, slang, and colloquial language that you and the recipient understand and appreciate. Remember, the goal is to express yourself honestly and sincerely. And that is best achieved when you write as you speak. Let's consider an example. Hi Sarah, hope this email finds you well. I've just returned from my trip to Italy and wanted to share some of my experiences. Rome was mesmerizing, especially the Colosseum take care. Your name, this email is informal, personal, and friendly. It contains a greeting, a body with the main message, and a closing. Remember, your personality and your relationship with the recipient should shine through your personal emails and letters. And that's all for today's lesson on personal emails and letters. We hope this session has helped you understand the value of personal correspondence in expressing yourself and maintaining relationships. Keep practicing your writing skills and remember, the more personal and sincere, the better. Stay tuned for more lessons on English language learning. Happy writing!